Hey, what's up? Are we recording? Yeah, I think we're recording anyway. Yeah, and um, it's been a while. Welcome back to my channel. This is um, God, what was it? Deep thoughts with Roland. Um, good enough. I'm smart enough, and dark on it. People probably hate me, and rightfully so. I'm afraid so. They do have some uh, little gripes with me. I'm sure they get some little grapes they want to try to squish maybe when they're not around me or far away in a dark dingy corner somewhere jerking it to some fat chick porn or something or maybe even guy porn I don't know uh, it gets weirder as the days go by but yeah check it out my glasses these are like the they live glasses where I can see all the alien people with whenever I put these on I have a many I have like four different pairs that all work the same way but um yeah, but uh, yeah, I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I don't know. Go back at some stuff. Let's go look at some stuff. <laughs> Let's go check out some. Uh, I don't know. Look at some YouTube. I like Callisto Protocol. I don't know what people are saying. It's not good. What are we gonna look at? Let's look at some uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk latest news. This must be funny. Fox News alert, Elon Musk highlighting documents on Twitter's censorship of the Hunter Biden <laughs> laptop story. Oh, man. New, newly this released details from journalist Matt Taibbi, right who right Musk side, outsourced the findings to, <laughs> tweeted, the decision was made at the <laughs> highest <laughs> levels of the company, but without the knowledge of CEO Jack Dorsey. He was asleep at the wheel. He continues, they just freelanced it, is how one former employee characterized the decision. Hacking was the excuse, but within a few hours, pretty much everyone realized that was, that wasn't going to hold the excuse of hacking. But no one had the guts to reverse it. Do Here to react, tired. Compact <laughs> Magazine founder and editor who worked at the New York Post, Sorab Amari. Sorab, thanks for being here. As someone who was there at the Post and saw this suppression, your reaction to what Elon what Musk suppression? is releasing? <laughs> well, it's just a kind of uh, cold anger, to be honest. A cold anger mainly at my fellow members of the media who yeah, at the like time the all lined up behind the censorship. Uh, Natasha Bertrand of Politico <laughs> calling it <laughs> disinformation. Um, uh, NPR saying we won't even touch it because this isn't a real story. And all of this was based on this excuse that this was hacked material. And um, what, we, what these set of documents now make clear is that even inside Twitter, within a matter of hours, they knew the hacked material excuse wasn't going to hold up and yet they insisted on it and for weeks they suspended the New York Post you know, Twitter account the oldest no continuously published daily newspaper founded by Alexander Hamilton one of our founding fathers that that's how they treated it and the rest of the media lined up behind essentially this vast concentration of corporate and technological power and censorship so Rob that's a really interesting point so are you is it your belief that because of the actions Twitter took against the New York Post, the other media outlets had a rationalization or a justification to effectively ignore the story as well. Was, the, was Twitter the leader on that? <sighs> I, I, you know, I can't place which one of them acted as the leader. It's, it's like this <laughs> complex of institutions that included Twitter and Facebook, shouldn't forget Facebook's role. Yeah. It included the, oh, the mainstream man. center left <laughs> like media, yeah, right? <laughs> NPR, Politico, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and it also uh, included a bunch of former um, oh, boy, deep state national all security all types sure. who falsely characterized Oof. this as Russian disinformation. And they all sort of worked yeah, together um, to suppress to this story. And Thanks then, as you said, to legitimate the suppression so afterward, nah, yeah. knowing, knowing ultimately that this was going to hold up and that this, uh, there was no hacking involved in this. You knew what it was from the beginning, by the way. Here's what you tweeted on October 14th. You're just wrong all the time. It's not your fault that you're always wrong. The beautiful people. Aww.